Hi, this is Glenda. Um, just thought I'd share what I'm doing at the moment. Um, we're having absolutely beautiful weather. Yesterday was the warmest day since May and today is even better. So I've been doing some gardening and um, not as much card making as I would normally. But I'm still on my toddler birthday card so I thought I'd share before I pass them on and that way I've got a record of what I'm doing. Um, so then obviously I'm, I'm not making mass production but I am doing batches so I did a batch of distress backgrounds now that I've sort of got a little stock already um, I thought well I can take a little bit longer if I wish on some so I did a batch of distress and I did a batch of alcohol ink backgrounds and sort of basically did this six together then I am sort of hunting out every cutesy thing I can find and I don't have a lot of cutesy stuff so anyway um, Obviously I've used the same birthday stamp on all of these and um, that one's an owl punch that I so struggle to use but there we go, I've used it. Um, added, uh, this one's a die cut with a, a punched train and then we've got um, a really old sizzlet, um, was the kids, the kid, no it was the kids cuddle bug ones that came out when I first got my cuddle bug and um, so there's my little frog on a, a wobble um, spring. Uh, so let's see, I cut this one, this is one of the scan and cut shapes and they're so limited the shapes um, and that's also a scan and cut shape and then this was another one of the little cuddle bug dies also on a wobbler. So there's that batch. Then I did a couple of silhouette cards. Um, it is a batch because they're both silhouette cuts. Um, so there we've got a girly one and um, I don't know maybe this is Peppa Pig or something um, but yeah little pig in a car so they're my my next round of birthday ones then I had to do some grown-up cards I just needed a break so um, I had a, a new die and so I made um, one with the die I had some leftover bits from another flower I'd done so I did that and some sprinkly and uh, I got a couple of little tiny flower punches and I got a splat stamp so you know I've been trying all these techniques that are so in at the moment so some grown-up cards so then I have also been making some glue dots um, and that was kind of interesting I, I tried two sorts of glue I tried this Aileen's tacky glue that did not work when I bought that I thought that's going to be similar to what people are using but no, it doesn't work. You must have the tacket over and over. And that worked beautifully. I did some on release paper and some on um, overhead transparency. And the overhead transparency, they basically stuck. The release paper, they were really good. Um, but then I put a piece of overhead transparency on it because a lot of the ones you buy are sort of like that and maybe it's a different plastic but they're, now they're all stuck to the overhead transparency <laughs> um, so that wasn't brilliant I got my granddaughter to test them and I said what sort of glue dots work better and she said glue dots are all the same so apparently they passed whatever test she has um, because she did not think they were any different to what I normally let her use which are the bought ones um, this batch I did this morning is not quite dry but what I'm going to do it's on release paper and I'll simply fold over the release paper I will not make the same mistake three times or whatever I've done so my homemade glue dots and then I think I have finally found a white stamping ink that I'm happy with uh, except it's not ink it's paint um, so to make a short story long what happened is I I always buy my re-inkers with my distress inks and I wanted um, before they were available in Australia the, the little tiny one inch cubes of distress ink I wanted my own so I made this um, set with um, cut and dry foam um, that I could take with me so they're nice and compact and then I thought well I don't have all the distress colors so I went one step further and for the colours that I didn't have I only bought the ring inker, not the pads and made my own um, like that. I still have six colours to go and then I'll have the full range of colours. 
Um, and then I bought my first ever Stampin' Up! ink and re it, and I thought, oh, I can make one to take with me as well. So I did that. Um, and then, to get on to the point of it, um, I got this gouache paint, water paint, it's um, watercolour paint, but it's gouache is um, opaque, and I made a little white um, ink pad, and I think it's stamped really clearly. I mean, I've added some splatter around here to make it look chalkboardy, but um, hopefully this will work. I only did it yesterday, so I don't know how it's going to stand up in the long term, um, if it will dry out, but so far so good, because I tried it again this morning and it was still pretty good. But, you know, I've, I've bought a, a few white ink pads and I don't like any of them. None of them are really white enough. And um, I don't want to just keep buying them in the hope that one will be wonderful. Um, you know, all different different people all say different ones are great. Um, but since I already have this paint, this is kind of almost free. But I, I think that's a pretty good result. Um, so I'm, I'm quite happy with that. So I finally have white ink that I'm happy to stamp with. Um, I have my collection of growing number of baby cards. And I've done some gardening and um, we're having a granddaughter sleepover tonight. So... Uh, yeah, I like the weather changing. It's I'm really pleased that we're heading into spring. It's another week to go, but the weather thinks it's already spring. So um, that's my little ramble for today. Thanks for watching.